The title of this episode is Vert Edgo, a play on Vertigo, which is spelled with an E and not an I. But I get it, you want us to go into the episode confused. That bird just stole my gum! The gum clearly came off the quarter. Ed points one way and then runs the other. It was in the palm of my hand. No, it was in the tips of your fingers. It stinks. It's hip. It's now. Come to Joe's Clubhouse. I know I've probably had my share of punctuation errors in these videos, but even I'd remember to put an apostrophe in its. Twice! And, why is now underlined and not hip? It should be the other way around. We already know it's now, because it's the present, but we sure don't know if it's hip or not. And, there are two sets of explanation points here, but none at the end. And, what asshole uses three different fonts on one banner? This Joe guy sounds like a douche. Hey, dorks! Get out of my backyard! What drove Double D, aka Mr. Do the Right Thing, to trespass in Kevin's backyard? They're, oh! They're trying to- Oh, get my grape up! Then eat it! That's the point! Hey, guys! I may have already won $10,000! Why is Eddie not freaking out? Our parents will never know they're missing. Are you sure about that? Because I can totally picture your father going, Honey? Where's the anvil? Hey, stop! Trees have feelings! You did nothing earlier when Ed kicked the tree. Alright, from left to right we have Eddie, Johnny, Double D, and Ed. Now from left to right we have Double D, Ed, and Johnny, and Eddie is completely across from them all. A dirty popsicle stick. It actually looks pretty clean. This skateboard directs Ed perfectly down the street without even coming near the grass, and now it's on the grass. Just, what the f***? Ed pulls out several patches of grass and, well, it sure grew back fast. There's no point of screwing this piece of wood onto this larger piece of wood other than, you know, another reason to have Ed fall. One stripe, two stripes. Hey, it's fun. It really isn't. <laughs> look at the Eds wearing sunglasses and Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> don't they look so funny? <laughs> they don't. This frame is terrifying! They sure got out of those costumes fast! Good God, what makes them so hell-bent on getting Double D wet? When Eddie hits the clothesline, this underwear is nowhere near his head. Of course, it finds a way on top of his head. What? No flowers? You obviously didn't need flowers. And shouldn't you be more bothered by the fact that he has your underwear on his head, not that he shows up flowerless? Unconscious. How can you tell? All you can see is his hand! I hate birds. 